Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the very funny Wendy Mayberry. <laughs> I'm from the South. Uh, people from the South are famous for saying stuff that sounds sweet until you think about it. <laughs> My Alabama Nana has a favorite thing she says. She goes, you are just as smart as you can be, aren't you? <laughs> I love it. Y'all got that right away. I didn't say you were smart. Just this is it for you. I hope you enjoy it. Minnesota people are mean in a way you almost can't even put your finger on. A lady came up to me the other day and went, oh, New shoes. Do you like them? <laughs> it's like, I did. <laughs> she goes, that's a choice. <laughs> if you're an elite European, like my dad's mom, you don't have to sugarcoat anything. You just come right out and be super mean. I was eating a dinner with my grandma, and she looked at me and said, your mother's family is all rednecks. <laughs> yeah, rednecks. That's rednecks for people who can't speak English real good. <laughs> That's right. I flew home and saw my mom like, I have to tell you what grandma said about us. And she goes, first I have to tell you what happened while you were gone. Your cousin Bobby was dancing on a bar, got took out by the ceiling fan, broke both his legs. <laughs> oh my God, we're rednecks. <laughs> and I'm a little bit elitist. <laughs> It's not super great. Everyone in my family was in the military. That's, uh, that's how Alabama women meet European men, actually. <laughs> the U.S. government. And uh, so that means all of our funerals are military funerals. If you haven't been to one, you've probably seen one on TV, right? They're really solemn occasion, full of tradition. And um, basically, you're saying goodbye to a fallen hero. And we were burying my grandpa at Arlington National Cemetery. And even if you know how it's kind of going, when the honor guard comes out and does a 21-gun salute, it really gets you. So we saw seven guys march up and go, chick, chick. Boom, and my Nana fainted. <laughs> and my brother screamed, holy buckets, they shot Nana! <laughs> and I was like, this is the best funeral ever. <laughs> Get Aunt Debbie, I can't stand her. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm good at weddings too, I go to a lot of them. Uh, I've actually been to so many weddings that I'm people's bridesmaid at their second wedding now. <laughs> That's a joy. Because apparently you have to buy another ugly dress, because that's going to make a difference. <laughs> anyway, I like to do a little service, which is point out the part of the vows that went wrong last time, in case anyone may have forgotten. <laughs> I like to nudge the bride and go, hey, listen up. This is the part she didn't do good last time. Trust me, you're going to be glad I did this. Say it again, sir. Say it again. <laughs> I'm trying to reduce the amount of ugly dresses I have to buy for my friends. <laughs> I stole a car this year. That happened. <laughs> I don't think it was my fault. They just let me take it. I went up to the valet and said, that's my car, and he gave me the keys. And an hour and a half later, when I got a little bit thirsty and reached for my sweet tea between the seats, put it to my lips, saw that the straw was chewed on, and I went, oh, I don't chew my straw. Still, sip the beverage inside, and went, I don't drink diet. Oh my God, I don't have a sunroof. This is not my car. <laughs> that's how I figured it out. Because I had... I had an Impala, and I stole a Prius. In my defense, they are both red. I think that's okay. I was shopping the other day next to a couple, uh, and the girl looks at the guy and goes, oh, do we have everything? And he was like, black garbage bags, bleach, rubber gloves, duct tape. All right, you're with me. I leaned in and went, whoa, how many bodies you guys trying to hide? She goes, our dad just died, and we're cleaning out his apartment. Oh. So just the one then, huh? Ha -ha! <laughs> I work at a discount portrait studio, the kind of place where you can buy socks and grapes and make lasting family memories. <laughs> and I love babies, but mamas drive me crazy because of the things they say. We had a mom come in the other day with a five day old baby, precious new sweet thing, right? And I laid him up and took the picture and the mom looked at it and went, oh, I don't know, that smile just seems really fake. <laughs> you've only known this baby for 120 hours. <laughs> Maybe he's faking a smile so you become a nicer person. <laughs> and then she said, I love all them sideways pictures you took, but you can't find frames that go that way. <laughs> Someone made a baby with you. 
One good thing about working at Discount Portrait Studio is I've learned what to say when the baby's ugly. <laughs> just go, oh, new shoes. <laughs> well, isn't she just as cute as she can be? <laughs> I'm Wendy Mayberry. Thank you, guys.